questions and comments. The Honourable Member from Pontiac. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I can see that the, uh, my Honourable Colleague on the other side of the House has, uh, has learned his Conservative Catechism very well. He can recite the formula uh, probably perfectly. The problem, Mr. Speaker, is the formula just doesn't work. There are as many unemployed now as there were before the rest of the recession. What, what m the member fails to recognize is the litmus test for any economic policy is the creation of jobs. Where are the jobs? The Honourable Member from Dauphin, uh, Swan River, Marquette. Thank, thank you, Mr. 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 Speaker. I'm not sure where, our, where my friend has been, but one of the most common complaints of the business com community, we have lots of jobs, but not enough workers to fill, fill them. That is why the Canada Jobs Grant is so important. Matching the skills, uh, ma ma matching what employers need and, and with the skills that, that potential workers have. The Canada Jobs Grant pro Program will allow Canadian workers to acquire the skills that, em that employers need. And I would also point out that Canada's economic rec record is the best in the G7 country by, of, of the G7 countries by, by far. Our conservative environmental, track, er, environmental and economic track re record speaks for themselves. The Honourable Member from Kingston and the Islands. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> what my Conservative colleagues say about taxes is just plain wrong. Earlier today, the Prime Minister, as other members on the Conservative side, claimed that it, uh, every family of four would save $3,000 a year in taxes. It turns out that the family that saves $3,000 in taxes is a family of four with two working parents making an income of $100,000. I don't know about you, but that's way above the median income in my writing. And furthermore, the share of the national debt of that family of four has increased by $16,000 in the last five years. So those tax savings are totally illusory. Furthermore, the member from Toronto Centre told us last week that this government is actually increasing overall taxes. The member from Toronto Centre told us that on March of 2010, the government voted to raise taxes by $720 million. On April of 2012, the government voted to raise taxes by $3.6 billion. And in March of this year, the Conservatives voted to raise taxes by $3 billion. And so there are many, many falsehoods that are being claimed by the Conservatives at the, as they cross the country and try to sell this budget, Mr. Speaker. A question there, but uh, seeing as I have, have, have the floor, again, I want to reiterate the, the, the importance of creating a climate for bus business, a climate for economic growth, public policy ma matters. Letting Canadian entrepreneurs, Canadian bus businesses go about the job, their jobs of creating wealth will make our country strong, generate income for vital social pro programs, fund retirement ben benefits for uh, se se seniors, and overall make our country better to withstand uh, any economic perturbations that may happen in, in the future. The Honourable Member from Mississauga Streetsville. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, very good uh, to see you in the chair today. Uh, it gives me uh, great pleasure to uh, rise uh, in the House today and to speak uh, on Bill C-60, which is an act to implement certain measures contained in the budget presented in this House on March 21, 2013, by our very capable Minister of Finance. You know, Mr. Speaker, this bill is about continuing the important work. Hey, the, Hon the Honourable Member for Mississauga Streets, but we were still on uh, questions and comments. I apologize. I thought you rose. I thought you ro rose rose to ask rose to ask a question. Uh, the, the, the member from Sandwich Gulf Island, you have about 40 seconds. So, quick My question. Point to the honourable member when he referred to. Uh, to the criticisms from this side of the House about what the current Conservative administration is doing to environmental laws, I want to put to him, as I did to, my, to the member for West Vancouver Sunshine Coast Sea to Sky Country, do bear in mind that John Fraser and Tom Sidden were both progressive Conservative ministers of fisheries who very strongly criticized the destruction of the Fisheries Act in Bill C-38. 
The changes in C38 will not create better fisheries management or protection of habitat. And although it's great to see a small amount of money to small NGOs to do conservation partnerships, it's woefully inadequate given the cuts to science and habitat protection. Bre brief response. Self, I am a very strong supporter of the changes we made to the Fisheries Act and indeed the environmental laws. What we have done is eliminate needless du duplication and what my honourable friend doesn't appreciate and none of them across the way appreciate is that project proponents and businesses today build the b very best environmental standards into their projects designed from day one and environmental processes had little to do, do with that. Our environment will continue to improve under the new environmental laws that this government has put in. You can take that to the bank. I see that the member from St. Lambert is rising on a point of order. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il y a eu une consultation entre les parties.